Yes, it's true. TrueNAS on ARM. There's actually like a, I don't know if you'd call it a beta, it's just kind of a community-driven effort to get TrueNAS running on ARM machines. And after years of asking about this, this is finally seeming to happen. And uh, one question that I saw in the forums about this was, like, what systems is this for? Because obviously we have things like the Ampere Ultra Developer Kit. Uh, this is like a $1,500 or something board. That's pretty expensive for a custom little ARM NAS server. And it uses server amounts of power too. It uses an Ampere Ultra chip. I have a NAS that's been running for two years, rock solid, very fast, running on Ampere Ultra in my rack. That's my primary NAS here. Uh, but that's just using ZFS on Linux. It's not using TrueNAS because TrueNAS didn't exist at that point for ARM. But there's a lot of other things too. Like this is a board called the T1 Toast. It uh, has two SATA ports and a PCI Express slot. And it uses a Compute Module 5 or potentially other Compute Modules for an extremely efficient ITX build um, that you can put any kind of uh, drives into. There's also things that I've covered before, like this is the Radsa Taco which has five SATA ports on the bottom and then an M.2 slot and uh, an E-key slot, so you could have a Wi-Fi NAS as well. Uh, that's using compute modules. This is a project from homelabs.club, I think. It's called like the Homelabs Pi Storage or something like that. I think, what is it? There's six slots inside, a 3D printed enclosure with a custom board on the back with uh, SATA support built in. And uh, back there, you can kind of barely make it out. I'll, I'll get a closer shot. That's a Raspberry Pi 5 running with a Radsa SATA hat, and that's another NAS option. The, the support for this needs UEFI support, and Raspberry Pi, there's a way to get that. It's kind of annoying and tricky, and I wish Raspberry Pi just supported it out of the box. Uh, but there's also the Radsa Orion 06 board, which does have system-ready support. It has full UEFI, so you can put whatever build of Linux or even Windows on it that you want. And uh, TrueNAS should be able to work on there pretty well. It's pretty efficient. Not as efficient as something like the Mac. This right here is a 4-watt mini NAS, basically. You could do it that way. It has USB 4 or Thunderbolt 5. You can get a ton of I.O. speed on this thing with 10 gigabit networking and build an ass with this, and it would idle at like 4 watts. That's pretty crazy. Uh, so having true NAS on ARM means we can open up more platforms. It, it only runs inside of VM on Macs, so that's just, you know, that's annoying. I wish Apple would support Linux as a first-class citizen. That would make these computers so much more useful, especially, you know, 5 or 10 years later down the road when they want to stop supporting it with Mac OS. But yeah, I mean, there's already a lot of boards out there. Some of them already in production, like the uh, the Taco, and some things that are more prototype stage, but you could build on your own like these guys. And of course, there is server-grade hardware. This is These are running in data centers all across the world, and people have been running them for years. Like I said, this is my primary NAS. It's running on an Ampere Ultra 32 core CPU, and the all-in cost for something like this, even with this outrageous case that costs a lot of money, is a few thousand bucks with some hard drives and everything. So this is uh, this is not out of reach to a serious home labber. And uh, this is like actual server grade hardware that can fit into a rack. A lot of people are like, oh, there's nothing server grade for ARM. It's like, yes, there is. People are running these things already. So it's cool to see TrueNAS will potentially have official support for ARM at some point if we can get some community support behind this, uh, this effort. Anyway, check out the link to the uh, post on the forum. And that's a Level 2 Jeff video, a quick one since I'm back from vacation. And I just saw that news. Somebody mentioned it on Mastodon, I think. So whoever that was, thank you very much. And uh, I'll see you in the comments.